Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul and first impression on Shop Me Say. Now this is my first time um, shopping via Shop Me Say and I thought I'd do a little get ready with me, a little first impression and kind of talk you through what I bought, how much I spent, um, how long delivery like took and all that jazz. So I thought, well I'll start getting ready while talking to you just to make it a bit faster and chattier for you. So I'm going to start with the, um, like how long it took and all that jazz. Just moisturised using Fenty Skin Hydrovisor. Um, but delivery from Texas uh, to England, I ordered on the 8th of February. It's now the 16th of February and it came this morning. Super fast shipping. Um, why does it literally not say how much it came to? Is there any other info? Let me just grab my Missy bag. Right, well, there's nothing in there. So, <laughs> just typical. Typical. So, I ended up paying around $35. Um, wait, no, around £35. And I paid £14.95 shipping and then obviously it says that you're responsible for customs or any handling fees when it comes over to the uk it arrived this morning i was sat waiting for a slip from royal mail to say you are x amount pay it and then we'll give you your parcel i actually didn't get charged customs on this i've already placed a second order that is how bad i am um with some few other bits and bobs just because i'm really excited to try it all even if it's shit at least i've tried it but for a dollar the reviews that I've been watching look really good. So yeah, it took eight, nine, it took eight days in total to arrive to the UK and I didn't get charged customs. So that's brilliant. It basically cost me £14.95 to get it to England. And that's not bad. I'm not mad at that at all. So I'm going to just kind of like start doing my makeup and show you bits and bobs as we go along. And also any extras that I won't be mentioning. <clears throat> the intro cut so abruptly while I was doing my um, moisturiser explaining shipping because my mum came up. Anyway, the first thing that I picked up were these no crease hair clips. These are a dollar and they only had blue left in stock, but I don't mind that because I like the colour blue. So let's see if these actually keep my hair out of the way while I'm doing my makeup. I've not done my hair yet. <clears throat> Need to straighten so the no crease bit doesn't really apply to me at the moment because mine's crease as fuck anyway. But these have got really good grip. I'm going to put the third one in just because I can. Um, just to really pull that bit back. That's going to irritate my ear. Right, so I picked up a primer. This is the AOA Studio Clean Slate Primer. And I just realised that all the prices are actually on the front of the bag for the customs declaration. Even though I got no customs charge. Um, so this primer was a dollar. You can't go wrong for a dollar. I liked the packaging. The packaging reminded me of Misguided. But I've also got another primer to try uh, with this primer. And it's the Priming Spray. So this duo, I believe, was $2. No, it was $3.55. I think that, like, equates to... So these will have been, like, 75p. This will have been 75p at the time that I bought. Um, And these, I think, were £2.30. After um, the change, so it comes with a primer spray and a setting spray this setting spray says it's matte finish non-drying i do prefer duo but that's absolutely fine this is it absorbs oil and it minimizes pores it says hold the a plus primer spray around 12 inches from face and spray around several times allow time to dry so while this dries oh it's wrapped again Bougie. while this can dry my face i can go and wet my sponge because i have got a sponge I'm going to use both primers, um, FYI. I want to know what this smells like. I love the colour. This blue is pretty. And it's actually quite a big bottle. It's 75ml. So compared to the primer that I normally... Uh, the primer sprays that I normally use, for example, the Peaches and Cream, uh, Olay, 
Ole, Ole infused get a grip setting spray. This one's 6 95 This is 100 mil. So you get 75 mil for a pound. So hopefully these are as good as um, some of the big setting sprays out there. Well, and primer sprays. Right, let's spray. Right. It smells nice. See, my, the thing with me is I don't really know if primer sprays actually do much, but they're nice to have. I like to think that they do stuff. So I'm going to let that dry. And quickly, I've got juice all over this. Uh, I picked up a sponge. This is the AOA Wonder Blender High Def Makeup Sponge. It's latex free. Uh, this was a dollar. This is one US dollar. So if this is good as the Real Deal Beauty Blender, then I'll be impressed. So while this dries, I'm going to run and wet it in my bathroom and then I'll be right back. I'm going to have a bit of a mare with foundation, I can just tell. Um, this feels really nice. So I'll be back in a second. Explain it, like the middle is hard, but I have drained all the water out, I think. Feels a bit weird. But I'm hoping it's good because this grows really big. So I'm gonna quickly put this clean slate primer on. We'll see how this works, how this feels on the skin. Oh, it's like a moisturizer. Does it have any SPF or anything in it? No, but I will read the back obviously and explain what it says it should do. It says clean slate is a lightweight and melts. No, it is lightweight and melts into your skin, leaving a silky smooth, I can't speak, leaving it silky smooth while extending makeup wear. First impressions, it feels really soft. It reminds me of my Colourpop um, Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer in terms of feel. So, so far, I'm not mad, I'm impressed. Primers, I never really noticed that they do anything, but it's nice to put them on, so that is why I put it on. I'm gonna have to grab one of my normal foundations, I know this for sure, because these are not going to match. It's a little bit like pink. So these are the AOA Pro Wear Foundation. These claim to be full coverage. Um, that's literally all it says, full coverage. So hopefully they are. I did pick up. Wow, I'm literally so prepared. It's like I knew that it weren't going to match my skin colour. I picked up an AOA Acrylic Mixing Palette. These are, this was 2 55 um, and it comes with a plate and a spatula to mix. The foundations were, when I can find it on here, I think they were 155. Now, literally doesn't say. The shade that I'm gonna take is sand. I'm gonna put Fair Ivory away in my little collection of foundations. Um, and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Foundation because this is really too dark for me. So I'm just gonna pump two pumps of that. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna squirt some of this in. Oh, that's really thick. This is really thick. I'm a bit scared. So that's what that looks like now, now that I've mixed them. The two are very different in consistency. This light one's quite thick, whereas the Colourpop one is a lot more runny. But hopefully this will match my colour. I really don't like using the spatula, but I'll just use it to scrape off any excess foundation. This colour will do. That's just kind of how I'm living at the moment. It'll do. It'll do. I know this is not a fair test on the foundation by itself, but I use the smallest amount of the Colourpop to try and get the best I can from this. This palette I really like. I like this mixing palette. I'm glad I finally got one because I've never used one before. This mirror, I bought an AOA mirror. It was $1.55. Probably one of my favorite things. Like who wouldn't want a mirror for $1.55? It's nice and big. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I also picked up <laughs> two brush sets. I'll show you the other three brushes that come 
in a minute but i bought two kind of like duo face buffing brushes um because i do like to use a brush with my foundation that's just how i am nice clicky so let's just buff this in and see how it works oh there's two things i didn't manage to pick up for this full face and uh, it's a bronzer there are literally no bronzers in stock anywhere um and the second thing that i couldn't get was a lip liner again all sold out i'm also using natural lighting so i'm really sorry i'll zoom you in a bit i'm really sorry if it's a bit all over the place i just uh couldn't be bothered to get my ring light and set it up because i'm lazy but that foundation is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous i'm a big fan i'm a very big fan of this foundation it literally does what it says on the tin it's full coverage like i can still see some pimples but i can't see the color of them any discoloration on my face has gone i'm like mega impressed with this foundation so so far everything i've used has been a hit i would buy it all i would buy it all over again definitely can't wait to get some medium tones in this foundation when i can um <clears throat> because i feel like i look really good is that vain probably right i picked up obviously some concealers so i picked up the matching concealers these are the aoa studio natural finish um medium to full coverage non-drying creamy long wearing concealers these were 155 each and i picked up the shades did i tell shades i picked up in the foundation i picked up sand which is the one that i used with a little bit of the color pop and soft ivory which is like mega pale um i picked up sand in this this one does not have a no it's fair ivory this one's sand this one's fair ivory so i'm gonna use fair ivory under my eyes i hope it is all really good i'll show you any miscellaneous items at the end as well by the way uh, any miscellaneous items that I bought or any items that I didn't use, I will show. Uh, wow, that's thick. This reminds me of the Kimchi Chic um, concealer. I love the packaging as I love how sleek it is. For $1.55, if this is a good concealer, you won't see me using anything else. It really does remind me of the Kimchi. It's pretty much the same colour as well. The kimchi, the most concealer is unreal. So I'm just going to buff this in and then I'm going to use sand on any blemishes that really need it. But this is so full coverage. Can you hear that? Don't know how I feel about this sponge. To be fair, it's blending it out really nice. Like I've got no issues with it. I just, I think it's because I'm not used to that really weird feeling of when you press down and also i've never had a beauty blender go this big don't know if that's just me but it feels bizarre this concealer is lovely by the way i'm a big fan i'm just going to quickly take uh, the concealer brush that came with that brush that i've just used it's the e101 and i'm just going to make sure that it's really blended under my eyes just because i do get creases so we want to be careful I'll zoom back a little bit again now. What my skin looks like in natural lighting. I'm a big fan. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Right. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to take sand just to try it. I feel like I should be coming up to the camera all the time. This is what my skin looks like at the moment. I feel like it looks beautiful. Like, you wouldn't believe that these products were like a dollar. It's crazy. I'm going to take sand. Um, I've ordered some medium tone concealers as well from this range. Um, purely because I managed to get some medium tone shades um, from... Sorry, I'm concentrating. Just putting a little bit there. I've got a spot there, so I'm going to put it on that. You can never really clean up texturized skin. I've got the biggest tash 
going on at the moment and I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, yeah, I managed to get some medium toned shades in the other foundation, the AOA stock, um, which obviously I've never tried before. So I picked them up. So I've cut out that light because the sun was doing me nutting. Um, and I'm just gonna use this side. Now, I got a pressed powder. I got the AOA Perfect Setting Powder in tra matte translucent. I thought I got a normal translucent. And then when I saw reviews and people were saying that was, there was shimmer in it, I was like, oh shit. It is all right, because I got matte. I'm a bit scared of this. I'm a bit scared to use it. I always get scared with powders. If nothing's like the, oh, you're joking. It's got that awful wrap on it. If nothing is like my ColourPop product, then I get scared. I've heard a few people say that this is actually quite good though, but their pressed powders are better. Obviously I'd already ordered, um, before... get out. The lid just fell off. I'm just quickly gonna bake Pray this is good. It's quite white. I just don't want there to be any like flashback. I really don't want to be flashback Mary. I'll cry if I if I am. I will cry. But yeah, I saw quite a lot of people talking about how the pressed powders were better. So I have reordered the pressed powders in my second order to see if they're any good. But it fits nicely in there. It's a small, compact size, good for traveling. I'm gonna quickly do my um, bronzer. Obviously, I don't have a bronzer to use. So I'm just gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Mirror Mirror Bronzer, which is my favorite thing on earth. I love this. I love the smell. I just love everything about it. Bronzer brush, because I'm lazy. I'm just gonna dust all that away. And we'll see how it looks. it's actually quite nice if i can find it i'll show you oh i'll quickly show you that mirror this was the little mirror that i bought this was a dollar so this one was a dollar and it's a bit smaller but it's perfect for gonna bends looking back i realized that i'd ordered the wrong highlighters so i don't know how the highlighters are gonna perform at all because they're cream highlighters So I'm a little bit scared. I might have to put my own highlighter on if it's shocking because obviously I am going for a walk. Is this a oh, this is a this is a cream as well? Ooh. I really don't think these through. Um I'm just gonna brush this on. It's a pretty colour. It bit of flimsy, flimsy packaging, but I can't really complain for 70p can I? So I need to stop being dramatic. I'm just gonna brush this on. That's actually really pretty. I know it's cream and I'm, I've am i literally just been slating it for being cream and it's actually dirty from my brush, but I'm not using my fingers today, I can't bother. This is actually quite a nice, like, flushed blush. Obviously gonna put some on my nose. To be fair, I'm a fan of that. I think that's really pretty. I am shitting bricks for this highlighter though. I have bought proper highlighters since. Uh, they've just not come yet. It's just hanging in there. So I picked up Dream and Opal in the Dewy Cream highlighters. I just probably read Dewy and thought, oh girl, yeah, Dewy. But after upon inspecting, it is a cream. So I don't know how this is going to perform. I might use the other brush from the other duo that I bought. This is the other duo. Um, <clears throat> we'll see it. We'll try. Uh, please work. Oh, that is really pasty. Oh, it's quite purple. I'm just going to apply it like this. Some on my head. It's really purple. I've not blended it yet. I've blended it above my nose, but that's different. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Try my hardest to blend this in really fast. It's kind of left a line. Oh, well, I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's left a line on my face. Does that mean it dries quite fast? 
Oh, oh. I'm gonna put a little bit more here just to try and blend that up off that line out. Cause that line doesn't wanna move. It doesn't wanna move. Primer is starting to kick in. Uh, there's a bit of a line on my face that I'm not a fan of. Right, then I feel like I shouldn't have powdered. Number one, I shouldn't have powdered. That was my mistake. I'll take that one. Number two, I think I should have been more aware that it was cream and blended individual parts. So that's my fault. We'll just pretend that I never did that. Um, but the colour is stunning i've put a really lightweight highlighter on top just to try and buff it a little bit stop that line from poking through that looks a lot better now i feel like you can't slate something that's a dollar do you know what i mean like you've got to, you've got to give it a fair shot i did buy a sculpting brow pencil i feel like this is so laid back and i'm sorry it's not a professional video at all but hopefully you get the vibes yeah i bought a profession i didn't buy a professional I need a professional to come and help me. Please help me. Uh, yeah, I bought a sculpting brow pencil. Now, number one, I don't know why I bought this. It's a bit like the um, P. Louise brow, um, brow pencils I bought. I use the gels all the time, but brow pencils, I, know I don't use them. I don't know how to use them. So I feel like I kind of shot myself in the foot and there was no gels anywhere. So I'm going to have to use my own gel. I'm sorry. I picked up shade. What shade are you? Medium brown. Because I thought mm, medium brown probably will match me. Even though I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so scared. And let me tell you, if I was a brow pencil girl, I'd be so impressed with this because it's quite waxy, um, but not super waxy. I'm just kind of buffing it. I'm just kind of buffing it. I'm kind of buffing it and I'm hoping for the best at this point because I don't fill my brows in. Maybe I should learn to fill my brows in and then come back come back another time i'm just going to take my brow gel to try and salvage my brows i'm just going to take that brush again and just kind of brush them yeah on the note of the brow gel the brow gel itself is really good but the sculpting pencil it's really good but i feel like the way i've gone about it is wrong on so many so I'm going to take that AOA concealer and I'm just going to put some under my eye. I haven't done this in ages as well. Um, and I'm just going to carve away what I don't want on show. I just need to carve a little bit more on this side. I didn't want to ruin the makeup, but I also didn't want to... Uh, butch my eyebrows i don't want i didn't want to start again i've not got time to I'm, I'm a busy girl just gonna quickly blend that concealer under my eyes we're almost done now my camera just cut off because clearly i'm taking too long so we're gonna move on to eyeshadow now i'm not gonna do anything crazy because it's just an everyday makeup look for me i got this amuse palette interesting question piss off I got this uh, palette from Amuse. It was 70p, it was a dollar, so we'll see how it works, but I'm literally taking a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this shade here um, and I'm gonna run it in my crease. Oh wow, that is pigmented. <laughs> that is more pigmented than I imagined it to be. I'm just gonna take that and buff it up to my brow bone, like so. When I'm doing an everyday makeup look, 
I rarely use eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the shimmer shade. I will point it in a second. This shimmer shade, we'll see how it works. Um, I'm just gonna, oh, that's a bit crap. It's there, but it's just a bit crap. Um, but I just buff that on my lid with the same brush. This is how I do like my everyday makeup. It's not bad. I'm not mad. Um, if you want to see a, like a proper detailed look, please let me know. Setting spray now. The setting spray says the exact same as the primer spray, except do it when you finish your makeup. Obviously, I've not finished my makeup yet. You can clearly tell that. I've not got any lashes on, not done my lips, not got mascara on. But this is when I normally would do my setting spray. Smells like roses. I want to try their brush cleaning spray. I bet they're good. But we'll put them in there in my little container. Now I got two lash glues. I picked up no lashes whatsoever, but to make it fair, I am gonna use some pound lashes. So I'm gonna use pound lashes in the style bitch. Now I just need to search for my used pair because I'm not putting a fresh pair on. These are some of my favorite lashes and they're a pound. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this with the lash glue. I'll let you, let, I'll let, I'll let you know what the lash glue is like. And I'm also going to try the Fat Lash AOA Mascara and the skinny version of the Fat Lash Mascara. Wow, this mascara is good. This mascara is really good. Obviously for me, I don't really care if the mascara is shit because I wear lashes every day, no matter what. Like, if I've got makeup on, I've got lashes on. But this is really good like it coated every single lash i'm gonna go ahead and use the black version of the two lash glues i'm hoping that they're like the same formula and there's no difference and i don't need to worry about it being shit uh, i know that the white one is the original one and there's so many good reviews on the lash glues um but i've never seen one on the black so i'm going to apply my lashes with the black one we'll see how it goes it a dollar 88 while my lashes dry i'm going to quickly show you the final things that i picked up um i picked up a microfiber facial washcloth that was a dollar i'm not put that there because that's got my rubbish in i picked up a cleaning brush egg this was also a dollar and i got it in blue because i like blue um and then for lip products i picked up a lipstick in bliss which is really dark and i don't know how i feel about this um, but then I picked up a lip gloss in glitter and then two of these like fruity pop glosses, one in watermelon and one in apple. And then finally, one last lip product. And this is a lip oil gloss. And I think this will be really nice for like um, before bed and stuff. So I'm excited to try that. How nice are these lashes, by the way, for a pound? The band is just a bit thick. I'm going to take the skinny lash. And I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. Now that is an insane mascara. I'm so impressed with that. It coats everywhere. That is insane. I'm a big fan of that. But my lashes are on. They're stuck on. That actually took a lot less time than I thought it was gonna. And my lips. I'm going to take um, a lip liner that I use all the time and it's the Colourpop um, My New Man. Um, and then I am going to try, obviously, shade Bliss, but I feel like it is going to be too dark. Oh, it's not too dark at all, to be fair. However, it is on the pink side. But I like the lipstick colour. I actually do. I'm quite a fan. Um, but I'm going to put a little bit of WE's FOMO in the middle. Just because I feel like it was a bit too pink. It still is a bit too pink. <laughs> Can you believe that this is all pound stuff? Because I can't. I can't wrap my nut around it. 
obviously apart from the bronzer but every review that i seem to watch none of them had a bronzer either must just be a thing and i put a little bit of gloss on just because i'm feeling it i'm feeling it extra bougie um today no one can stop me I love a glossy lip. That's quite nice. It's quite pretty. So I'm just going to pull my hair out of these clips. There wasn't one thing that I actually disliked. And I'm super shocked about that. I literally love everything from the base to the eyes to the glue. Like, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this stuff. I recommend it 100%. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to go now because I'm in a rush. But I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you in my next video. I will see you next time. Bye.